Hello. Today we're shooting a video on recycling. And we're going to show you how recycling works at homegrown veg. Okay. If you're like me, you're harvesting your early potatoes. These are some early potatoes that were harvested earlier this week. Um, and so that throws you up some compost, doesn't it? Some soil, some dirt. If you're growing these potatoes in pots, that's a pot full of dirt, isn't it? And you will have a spare pot. So this is the pot. Okay, so now we've got some dirt, we've got some soil, we've got a pot. We should plant something else, shouldn't we? If there's some summer months left, something that will grow through. Um, so what I like to plant is I like to plant a vegetable that will grow through autumn and, and possibly into winter. Celery is one uh, and leeks are another vegetable that fits that bill. Um, and so we can recycle the pot which is an ex-cut flower water bucket. So we've already recycled it to grow the potatoes but we're now going to recycle it to grow the leeks. And we're going to recycle this compost because we're going to put it back into this pot. We're going to recycle this soil because we're going to put it back into this pot. Um, and we would probably reinvigorate this uh, soil with something like blood fish and bone. Or 6X, which is a dry farmyard manure. Or any ballast fertiliser will do. Throw some into your um, used soil, your used compost, then recharge your pot. Okay, now then. I've already done that this year, so we'll just pop these potatoes in here uh, for the time being. Uh, and I'll just lift this, this other pot up into the picture. Okay. This is a pot that's already been used to produce potatoes. The compost in this pot has already been used to produce potatoes. Okay, so we just recharged the pot um, possibly a month ago. And we planted these four leeks in this pot. These were seedlings. These were seeds I started at about the same time as I chitted my early potatoes. And by the time the early potatoes grew and delivered, these guys were big enough to transplant into this pot, into this recycled compost. Uh, and what you can see here are four plastic bottles, four of these. Top and tailed. Now I'm not going to tell you how to do that other than you need to do it with something sharp and you need to be very careful because these bottles aren't designed to be cut. They're just not designed for that. Um, and so they're going to want to do this all the while you're trying to cook them. So be very, very careful when you do that. When you've got four of these, stand them shoulder to shoulder and simply use a stapler and staple and staple and staple at the top, turn it over, staple, staple, staple and you've actually got four now joined together which makes it a much stronger unit and as you can see it fits perfectly in that pot. Okay, and what do we hold them in position with? Rocket sticks, okay. So, We've got recycled compost, re recycled uh, cut flower water bucket, recycled pot bottles, recycled rocket sticks. How good is that? Well, it isn't finished just yet. Um, so, you can see these pot bottles in action. You say, well, why did you put them round there? Well, when these seedlings went in, um, if you've seen my previous videos, I usually just plant these guys so the bottom one inch no more is in this pot. I like to leave the rest of the pot for root development. And so a tall plant like this is likely to fall over. And as you can see, the wind's blowing. So the first job for these cut off plastic bottles is to be a windbreak. 
and as you can see they're acting as a windbreak. If they weren't on these guys would be horizontal now. I know that the wind would blow them over um, because they haven't got such a good root system down there yet. Um, so yeah, for, so for a start these guys act as a windbreak. Now when they get tall enough, these leaks, and they're coming out at the top, okay, they're still wanting to fall about, so they actually act as a support. So they act as a windbreak, stop the wind blowing the leaks over, and a support, so that's something that lowers the leak vertical so it'll stay upright, so it won't get blown over. This support will help it stay upright. And the last thing we use these uh, cut off plastic bottles for, um, is to support this and this is simply a piece of felt, old felt, cut to fit inside that pop bottle like this. Okay, so now as you, now you can see that a leak inside there is as now had the light um, taken away from it and it'll now tend to blanch up. So the, the white shank that you get on the bottom of the leak, um, instead of it only being a few inches, it can be a lot more than that, believe me. Um, and what I'm going to do to prove that this works, okay, all this recycling works, to prove that it works, I'm going to clip on um, a piece of video now that I shot uh, maybe last year or the year before, where I actually harvested some leeks and I'd used this exact method to grow them. Um, so I hope you enjoy that, I think you'll enjoy that. Um, but what I want you to do is, uh, at, the end of that, um, at the end of that clip, I want, you to ask, I want to ask you to do something for me. Um, so stay with it right at the end of the clip, then I want to ask you to do something for me. Okay, right, you watch the clip, We'll take those potatoes inside, Mo, and um, we'll have a brew. On this here, although it's not part of this, uh, this little demonstration, I'll show you it now. Spent mushroom crate. Great for stacking. Great for storing your onions in because there's plenty of air ventilation. And also, makes a riddle, if you haven't got a riddle. So there's something else we've recycled, something that works. Okay, right more, let's go and get that cup of tea and then we'll come back and finish this video, come on. Well, we've got some blue skies overhead so we best um, do a bit of gardening. Um, these are the pop bottle wind brakes, they're still on. Held in place with these this is a rocket stick. If you get out and get any this November, I think I got about 18 and my neighbour collected a few for me so they come in handy, don't they? For holding things in place. I'm not too sure I'm going to get these guys out. I think we'll try and roll them out in a one and hopefully not break this pot. Right, they seem to want to come. Let's see if we can lift them out. Oh, need all that pot. Oh, here we go. How's that? Um, these guys will be root bound, so we'll we might struggle to get them out of there, but we'll see. I'm going to put the spade down to break this soil ball and hopefully not slice any of these leaks at the same time. Oh here we go. Oh these leaks are Malabar. That was the other one I couldn't remember, Malabar. Right. Let's 
see if we can just break these apart. Yeah, that gets hold. That looks good. Oh yeah. Is that our first leak? Let's see if we can tease these detectors off. I know these leaves are getting damaged, but it's the white shank we'd have to really have to leave. garden. These are some just some pieces of felt I actually put inside the bottle just to um, help blanch the leak. I don't know if they've worked, we'll find out. And of course we'll use these again next year. I'll do a tidy up when we finish, don't worry I'm not going to leave a mess. They're looking like Hey, not too bad. What's wrong with that? Remember, I've already used this pot once and this compost once. Now we've got this leak. And we've got this leak. Wow, even bigger. How's that looking? Now if you don't do this, um, the compost you've used for your early potatoes is just going to do nothing, isn't it? Your pot's going to be empty. Uh, and if you've got a pot and you've got some compost, you should have a go at this, shouldn't you? Look at this. Man, these are good leaks. Oh, see, okay. So I'll find a bucket, uh, wash the muck off these guys, tidy them up, let you have a look, better look at them. Okay. Okay, these guys have scrubbed up uh, really nice. Before I show you them, let me ask you, did you take my advice earlier this year? When you lifted your earlies, did you plant some leeks? If you planted some leeks in pots, you should be harvesting them now. And your leeks should be like these leeks. There's no reason why not. If you didn't, you're going to be kicking yourself and you will do it next year. Trust me, you will. You'll start some leeks early doors. And when your potatoes come out in the early summer months, you'll be popping these leeks in and be growing leeks. You will be, I can't say why not. Have a look at these guys. Whoa, look at that. Come on. Come on. That's a result, isn't it? Recycled compost, second crop out of this pot this year. We've already had early potatoes, now we're getting leeks. And let me show you, I can span about nine inches. Come on. There's more than nine inches of white there. So, this is what's possible. Hey Molly, excuse me, come on, you know you don't like leaks, there's nothing here for you. Hey, oi, Molly, are you listening to me? Skedaddle. Molly, excuse me, over there. Get out of that! Hello, thanks for, uh, thanks for staying with it. Um, what I wanted to tell you about was, um, was a video that I've watched quite recently. Um, and what attracted it, me to it was that it was about um, plastic bottles being used in gardening. And, and as, as you've seen, I've got some great uses for them and uses that are practical and uses that work. Uh, and you could, you could do the same. And so if anybody else has got good ideas with plastic bottles uh, to do with gardening, I like to visit them and, and see what they're up to. Um, so the video I watched was a video called 
uh, plastic bottles, beautiful garden ideas using old plastic bottles. Now I'll, I'll, I'll put some text on at the end so that you don't need to remember that. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to watch that video. Okay. Um, because when I went to it, the first thing that struck me was that it had only been released five days ago and already it had 196,000 views. 196,000 views in I think it was five days with 800 likes. Wow, that's got to be something special, hasn't it? 196,000 views in five days plastic bottles in a garden uh, so I had to watch it and bearing in mind uh, some of the videos I produce uh, it takes about a year and a half 18 months to get 2,000 views and maybe about 30 or so likes now I'm not disappointed with that I'm okay with that but when I saw this I thought wow I need to watch this video I need to see um, what makes this video worth 196,000 views in five days okay so if you watch it please do um, and what I'd like you to do uh, before you go there uh, leave a comment on my video um, tell me what you think about it but when you get to the other video I think you'll find that um, none of the comments against that video have been answered now I would have left a comment um, had the comments been answered but as they weren't being answered there seemed to be um, no point leaving a comment um, so what I'd like you to do is uh, when you've watched it come back to me and tell me why you think that beautiful garden plastic bottle video was so good was so popular was so special um, and as I say, that the word I'm using to uh, describe it was uh, special. It had to be special with all those views, hadn't it? Um, but you might choose to use another word to describe it or other ways of describing it. But anyway, come back to me and let me know. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.